Hey, the Sunday of the Road Haunts, and I just watched a video made by the fellow haunter, Dr. Cockter. It's simply titled, I'm Peeved, and he makes a very good point in this video, actually, which makes a bunch of opinions I had about, you know, Spirit Halloween and all that kind of change a little bit. So I'd like to talk about this video, not as an exact reaction or even a, analyzing what he says, but in short, uh, because I want to hog the views and not his video because I'm egotistical. Not really, I'm just being... Uh, just for context reasons, this video is basically about how everybody is ranting, including me, by the way. I'm not safe from this. I totally rant about this stuff. About how newer spirit ain't scary. And he just says how that's not quite right, how a lot of people are very blinded by nostalgia. So... I think that's actually a pretty good point. So today, I'm going to be doing something crazy. I did an everything wrong with Spirit Halloween. So today, I'm doing an everything right with. Which is really about why we were wrong about this year and why I was wrong too. So I want to analyze, you know, like every prop this year and why it's, it's actually pretty alright. So, yeah. The first one here is one that a lot of people consider to be family-friendly. Uh-oh, spirits in a bad direction. Possessed Pumpkin, which is what I thought too. And mind you, his voice is pretty cringe and pretty bad, you know? Um, I don't think the voice acting is that great. But when you actually analyze the phrases, he has some that are pretty, you know, cheesy and stuff. Like, tonight's the night for fright, which is, you know, uh... It's not great, you know? Although his other phrases are actually pretty all right. For example, one that I found really cheesy and dumb is I need a skeleton or two for my haunted house. Yours looks just about right. Now this, I did find this very cheesy, but I mean, you know, that does mean that he's gonna try and take the skeleton out of your body or something. And then the main one in his like original video sneak peek is obviously, you know, he's got to make a jack-o'-lantern from your head. Which, if I had a dime every time Pumpkin Prof said that, I mean, you know, I'd kill Jeff Bezos. But, the point is, that phrase is actually fairly violent. Because also, mind you, Possessed Pumpkin is a big prop. It's not small by any means. So, like, the image of him, you know, carving out your eyes, your mouth, your nose... It's like a genuine threat, and it is fairly, like, gory to think about. His face and look is actually pretty good, in my opinion. Maybe a little cartoony for some, but whatever. Um, and then next one is Lord Raven. Can't really see here, but he's the, you know, beastie over here. But Lord Raven is actually another really good one. Because, A, you know, he's... He, he is pretty creepy. I mean, you don't see bird plague doctor monsters that much and so that's pretty original but also in terms of the phrases not a single mention of souls or any just generic you know scary spooky halloween -y stuff like his phrases are about there's one about other things being in the woods other than him which is actually pretty terrifying because like i mean he's pretty freaky so to imagine the other stuff in the woods is like ugh. You know, pretty terrifying in my opinion. But all of his phrases revolve around him and his crows pecking you of your flesh. Which again, is not talking about souls or anything. And is a much more visceral threat. So honestly, that that's a pass for like spirit doing better. So, you know, I, I do think he's like a very good example of what a scary prop should be without any blood. Um, the next one we have is Bog Zombie. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna be going into this guy very much, because he's just a zombie, and that's like, you know, that's good. It's a zombie. Now, the next one I'm gonna talk about is Young Crouchy, which, uh, I do think there are quite a lot of negatives with, but when you think about it, like, even though the original Crouchy was big and scary, if you just had Young Crouchy on its own, then that's still like a spooky, you know, running around, like, more gremlin type of clown rather than, you know, big honking. So, like, if you put it on top of a shelf or anything, it's, it's pretty solid and actually not, not an awful idea. 
But of course, the main elephant in the room is that it's just a lazy downsizing of Crouchy, in my opinion, which is the main problem with it. And I don't, I don't think it's very safe from that. So you know, whatever. Now, the next one is um, Tombstone Terror. Now, I'll lump it together with Bag of Bones right here, because as goofy as they look and as cheap, you know, the skulls and stuff, seeing them in person, they always make me jump. So, like, I mean, you know, that's that. They're great jump scares, both of them. The next one uh, I'll be discussing is Mr. Punchy. I honestly don't have a lot of praise for him when it comes to this kind of stuff. But one thing I will say is a lot of people are really tired with the unoriginality of the clowns. And his phrases aren't great. But I mean, if you look at him, how many clowns have you seen that look like this? You know, the light, the lights in the face, the inflatable body, like, you know, it's, it's not a common sight for Halloween props nowadays. So he is actually fairly original. As for his phrases, there is the one that mentions going down to hell, but the rest... Rest are pretty cheesy and don't even have any like threats in them or anything. So, honestly, in terms of like, are they scary? I still give him a no. The next one is Monty, which is the beastie I have right over here. Again, I think uh, in terms of scariness this year, he might be number one, honestly, because like, I mean, he's really big in person. His symbols, you know, he could just clash you with his, you know, like, you know. Pancake your head. He also has, like, you know, really big teeth. You can't see, like, head. That's pretty freaky. And it's also just a freaky concept, you know? Like, even if it's just a standard monkey or, like, a toy come to life, that's still pretty, you know... Like, that's still pretty freaky. Now on to the back theme, because I'm going on to these by, like, you know, theme order, because that's the best way I can remember them. Um, the first one I'm going to discuss is Nozzles, which, again, is fairly cheesy and does joke a lot. But something like Peekaboo Clown jokes about scaring you. Nozzles, as Dr. Cocker... Co Cocker? But anyways, uh, Nozzles talks about gassing you. Like, you know, like there, he has the phrase, like... I'll have this whole block covered and say sweet dreams, which is actually a pretty, like, nightmarish phrase, in my opinion. Like, I think that's actually a really good one he has, so, I mean, you know, it's pretty good. And, you know, again, he's, you know, talking about threats, he's being scary. Plus, I gotta be honest, the idea of, like, a cl like a clown that's somehow shooting fog out of it, like, mechanically, I just find a very weird, nightmarish concept. Weird in the good way, of course, not the, you know, bad. But, you know, I think that is, like, a pretty good point, honestly. Um, now, the next one is Lucky Bottoms, which is... I mean, he, he, he's a clown that just laughs. He doesn't have any cheesy phrase to get in the way. The only real issues I have with him are, like, detail and quality. Like, you can... There's no neck or anything, so you just see the, like you know, metal pole holding up the head. And if the clothes were a little more detailed, if the quality, you know, didn't look as mechanical, <clears throat> I mean, there's nothing too, too wrong with the prop other than its price. It's, you know, it's whatever. Now, next one is the little Skelly Bones revamp, which, again, its phrases aren't very scary, but, I mean, the jump scare is pretty all right. I don't really like it, so, you know... I personally don't think this is, like, a good place for Spear to go, in my personal opinion. Now, the next one I'll be discussing is Betty Sharp, which, like, everybody's issues with it are just its lack of movement in the weird face. Because its concept, I mean, you know, its concept is freaky. Like, there's a dead person in the back screwing around, you know. And so, like, that's really what matters. It's bloody. You know, so like not not an awful concept, really. Um, and then there's Reagan, which is just licensed, you know, possessed girl. I'm not really gonna commentate on her because she is licensed, and I mean, you know, that's pretty much up to the movie what the character's like, really. 
Even though I think they tweaked the phrase a little bit, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so those are all the animatronics and the themes. And again, I don't think a lot of people give this year enough credit, in my opinion. Even me, honestly. Uh, I'm, again, I'm not gonna pretend I'm, you know, like, free from that. And I'm not gonna pretend I have a gun to my head either, like, this is me saying it. But now, with in terms of filler, we have Deadly Creeper. I mean, Big Spider. Big Spider's cool. What can I say? But then we have the Straw Man, which phrases, again, are more physical, like, scary threats. Because, I mean, you know, they're about, like, sharpening his tools, you know. You go and lay him down in a grave or, like, the farmer's spirit roaming around. Again, he's not a, like, he's not the cleanest prop, you know. Like, his phrases are still pretty, like, freaky. I do think he's fairly overrated. Because best scarecrow prop of all time, I do not think that. Best prop of the lineup, I do not think that. Best animation, servos are um, pretty good, but the actual, like, body, like, I, I, I personally don't get it. I think it's a very weird look, in my opinion. But again, in terms of the phrase and the concept, not the most family-friendly animatronic you could get. Now, on to the online onlys. There's Rat Girl, which is trickier to defend, in my opinion. But again, like, of course, something that I think will appear in Tweaks or Freaks for the future. So, you know, you can be hyped for that if you watch the channel. And if you don't, please, you know, like and subscribe. Usually say that at the end of the video, but because we're past 850 subscribers now, 1K is coming up fairly soon. So, you know, please just like, subscribe, you know, whatever. If you like the content, which you stuck around, you know. But anyways, back on track. Rat Girl is... You know, concept is just some, you know, demented, crazy kid that's hunting and catching rats. Which, honestly, if it was done a little better, is a pretty alright idea, you know. But again, that's if it was done better, because from how it is done, it's... Not the best, in my opinion. I just want to spike, which has a pretty, you know, unique head sculpt, and it is a gory concept, but again, not very gory done. So, you know, uh, what can I say? S but, yeah. And then the final one is The Widow, which is, I, I, I'm not even gonna go over this one. You know what The Widow is. So like, what? you know why that's scary. But in the end, the point that he's making, and I, I honestly start to believe too, is that, trust me, I do want Spear to go more scary. I think they have now, there are some very good footsteps, but I think they've really got to, you know, kick it into second, third gear, do a lot more scary props. And so, you know, I think we should see a lot more of those, in my opinion. Again, it also points out that some of the gory props weren't that well done. Which is, fair point, fair point. Also, you don't need gore to be scary. For example, I mean, Monty is a pretty unsettling animatronic. And there ain't an ounce of blood on this guy. No blood, no nothing. But, I mean, just looking at him, he's, you know, he's freaky as hell. Nightcrawler, see a speck of blood on him? Don't mind the 3D glasses. No, but he's still pretty grotesque at that. Good boy. And so, you know, that's, that is, like, a pretty good point. And also, people have been ranting about this kind of stuff forever. Like, I wasn't in the community back then. Apparently, around 2015, you still had the critiques of Spear needs to be scarier, higher quality. And, I mean, lo and behold, nowadays, we're comparing 2015 to now, saying how better it was. Which, now, as... Of course, I do still agree with my previous ideas. I, I do think Spirit needs to be a little scarier, because personally, from my view, I don't really like the more child-friendly. But what I've come to the conclusion of, in my opinion, is what I've just said is, like, you can make PG-13 scary props. Like, I actually quite, you know, respect PG-13, like, horror movies or stuff, because if they manage to be scary without 
you know, lazily using gore or something. Not that I have an issue with using gore, because, like, you know, I think, like, good terrifier to some, you know, here and there is pretty good. But, you know, if you can make a good scary thing with no gore, then that makes it a little more artistically, you know, good. And, you know, my personal opinion. But, you know, that's that. I mean, in the end, I, I personally do think that Sphere Zero is getting a little too much hate. Granted, if we go back, Betty Sharp, weird ass head sculpt, not a lot of movement, bag of bones, tombstone terror, cheap, little skelly bones, young crouchy, just bad reduce of the props in my opinions, possessed pumpkin, awful voice acting, Mr. Punchy. Of Mr. Punchy. Um, so, again, they're not the best executed. But when you think about the concepts, they're not awful. I mean, even think back to 2020. I actually don't think it has the worst lineup out of all the years. Punctured Pete is a pretty alright idea. Kind of precursor to Spike and Jerry, but okay. Um, so, you know, 2020 had this guy as well, Nightcrawler. So, like, you know, I mean... He's pretty iconic now, in my opinion. It had the butcher, which is, you know, wearing the pig head, all that. Um, you know, it had Harvester of Souls, which is, you know, a demon sucking the souls from kids. Pretty freaky when you think about that. You know, and so, yeah. Um, I do think, as he said, a lot of people are, you know, nostalgia blinded by old spirit and stuff. But... I mean, I, God, I'm I'm sounding like a broken telephone right now, but again, I do think spirit should be scarier. But uh, really, you know, it, it could be worse. And I also want to say this: uh, try to respect people's opinions as well. I'm saying try, because I usually try to do that. But if you come up to me and says, say the Evil Dead, not the you know original one, the good one. Um, but if you say the 2013 one is a good movie, um, I try to respect opinions and stuff, but if you think, I, I'm just gonna say it, I don't care if you get mad at me, um, if you like The Evil Dead 2013, you're wrong. It's, I, I'm gonna stop this before it gets into a whole other video, but I've gotten off track, but I mean, you know, end points, spheres, Honestly, not too awful. Could do better. Respect others' opinions. Bye.